Hi everyone, it's Casper here from Anonic again. So last week we looked at how to deliver a great user experience with core web vitals. You know, we love that stuff. In this week's digital transformation, first up, I'm looking at an article by Robert Rose. He's got an interesting job title, Chief Troublemaker at Content Advisory. And the article is called Content Marketing and Sales bridging the gap. This one is close to our heart because I also work in sales. So thank you, Robert. On the surface, content marketing and sales can be seen as a bad mismatch. But research shows that business performance is closely linked to strategic alignment between these two groups. The big question he raises is whether better content marketing and sales alignment serve as a key for broader, more strategic alignment between sales and marketing and whether this helps to to drive more success. Based on our experience, the simple answer is absolutely yes. And that is his conclusion too. The article is based on a research report carried out by the Content Marketing Institute and LinkedIn. The results from this report show that content marketing may be the bridge to bring together sales and marketing teams in a meaningful way. Content marketing may be the key to sales and marketing understanding what did they really mean. At Anonic, the sales and marketing team, we work very closely together on our content strategy. We fully understand that a lot of buyers' decisions is made prior to them taking contact with us. From our experience, by producing relevant content for our customers and partners, we have a better understanding of their requirements and are able to have much more meaningful conversations. This brings me on nicely to my lovely colleague, Vegard Otterweg, who is our demand generation manager. He produces a lot of amazing relevant content for our customers and partners. In his article, he talks about how Anonic uses content ops. Firstly, he reminds us what content ops is. Well, content ops is short for content operations and is a content production principle integrating people, process, and technology is designed to fill the void between content strategy and content delivery. Vegar then goes on to look at our inbound strategy that we started back in 2018, where the goal was to produce engaging, meaningful content for our specific audiences. The article then goes into greater detail about Anonic's editorial process and how we integrate people, process and technology to produce high quality content. Finally, he lists the main advantages of content ops for Anonic. It's helped to make our content production consistent, repeatable and scalable. Last up is Jerry McGovern, founder and CEO of Customer Care Words. He's written an article for CMS Wire called Web We Have a Problem. In his article, Jerry points out that modern technology and modern life is the central driver of abundance, but is also the core accelerator of waste. He talks about that all the websites we build the content and code don't go anywhere to die or is being reused to make something new and fresh. It just sits up there, taking up space, eating a little bit of energy every day, almost invisible. He sees the digital industry is so wasteful and we should recognize that we have a problem since we are addicted to easy and cheap abundance that tech offers. That's it for this week. Thank you for listening. You will find the links in the articles in the comment field below. Do also check out our blog on the latest articles on digital transformation. And as always, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.